let's make a John Wick 4 minifigure. We're going to 3D resin print. That's right. In tribute to John Wick 4, the movie coming up. We're making a John Wick 4 minifigure. And I'm so excited. We have our new camera. Our bill plate is lowering. It kind of goes slow, so gotta watch carefully as it goes into our resin tray. This is a few hours later. As you can see it's got a nice good build going. We'll remove the cover. And yeah, this is four hours on this build here at this point. And you can see the UV light flashing on to the resin. Now most of the time you want to keep that cover on because you don't want any outside UV lights coming into your print. It's it's building. Perfect. Okay, this is 14 hours later and we're completely done. And we're going to go ahead and let the rest of the resin drip back into our tray. As you can see, it's still dropping down into our resin tray and we can still use that for later. So we make sure it all comes off the build. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and remove our build plate from the slide. And that just unscrews real simply. Perfect, bada boom, bada bang. Now we're gonna check for fails. And this means you're gonna just look it over really well and make sure that the print came out exactly the way that it was catted in or it was sliced into your uh, 3D printer. So no fails here, it's good to go. Excellent. So now we're gonna get some special gloves. I like to use these gloves uh, because sometimes the, the supports can poke through your rubber gloves there. And these have a texture on it that allow you to grip and, and keep control as you're detailing your minifigure. There's always resin on the minifigure. It can tend to be a little slippery. Okay, so now we're gonna remove our build from the build plate and get our nice spatula here and just work around clockwise or counterclockwise whichever is best for you easy and there it is i'm going to check it again just to make sure now that it's off the build plate there's no fails or flaws it looks good so far so we can go ahead and move to the next step Okay, let's replace our build plate to the slide and put that back so it's out the way. And let's get our favorite nippers. Make sure they're nice and clean, ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and start working on our figure. So this process is always tedious, just be ready, it takes time, but let's start clipping. And what you're going to do is just start clipping the supports one at a time and take your time. It depends on your build, how small they are and how many supports you have. So. This process, a lot of people make a mistake and just rush. Don't do that. So what you wanna do is start at the base or the rift first, and that's basically at the bottom, which was connected to your build plate. And just go ahead and clip around, and again, counterclockwise or clockwise, whatever pattern that works best for you and you're just gonna keep working around the minifigure and clipping your supports. And it 
again, I can't express it again, and I can't express it enough. Take your time. So important. But the better you take your time, the better you learn how to do this process. And it's crucial to get this process down. That way your mini figures come out clean and also you don't break parts on accident when you're removing your supports which can happen to a lot of people if they have not done this before or take their time we're gonna work our way around here and yeah, we got keep clipping keep clipping it's looking good so far I have a lot of them loose and again make sure that you keep these gloves on and some eye protection because things fly and they go everywhere and uh, remember you're dealing with a plastic type um, material here so just keep on clipping and keep grinding it out and just make sure that you keep control of your figure as you're doing this that's why it's so important to have those gloves with that grip and the resin is very slick so you can easily uh, drop it if you use uh, just your rubber gloves notice I'm almost got a complete clipping around the riff and the base there and that's gonna make everything a lot smoother and I'm working my way on the inside here now and this John Wick has a lot of little nooks and crannies so just making sure I get in there and clip as many of those notches and knobs as I possibly can. Now we can start pulling off these supports by hand and just basically grab and just gently pull apart. I know it looks like I'm doing it rough but I know I've already clipped these well and that's what one of the supports looks like after you pull it off. So just go ahead and just pull and work your way around and make sure you only pull with what you have clipped exactly it's a nice one there and you just kind of feel around and you know where you've made good clips and just pull off what you've already clipped with your nippers it's very easy once you've made that first step just kind of push and pull and again, after you've clipped, it's so easy to just pull your supports away. Don't try to pull off supports without doing some type of process of, of clipping or if you don't want to use my process, something else, you could definitely damage your figure. Uh, there it is, so it's looking good so far. I have a few more supports that I didn't clip and I don't want to move them or try to force them off. So we are going to pull that guy there and just go around and make sure that there is nothing left that I can pull off by hand. Looking good so far. Perfect. Okay. So now we're gonna just go back and what I like to do is detail and just make sure there's no notches or leftover uh, parts from your, your supports because they kind of leave little small nubs. And what you wanna do is go in there and just work around and just gently clip them or sometimes they're already loose and you can just pull them off but this process is another very important process in your building 3d prints of any kind or especially minifigures 
Okay, there we go. Our John Wick. Yes, we are making some progress, guys. Excelente. He came out looking really good. Really good detail. Excellent. I can't wait to get this guy finished. Okay, so now we're going to bring out our small brush. And remember, what this brush is for is to gently remove any leftover resin before we put it in our cure because there's always resin left over and we're going to start with our brush just work our way around here and gently brush our John Wick 4 and again it's good to have eyewear because some things just fly off and I have a technique where I kind of just brush gently and smooth off all that uh, leftover resin and if there's any support pieces I'm double checking and making sure that I get those off this process is also very crucial if you want to have a really good print and really good detailed finished project so I'm gonna go ahead and work my brush now and get this guy done. And always take your time. I'm gonna brush it really thoroughly, give it a nice clean, get in the grooves, a little crevices okay so now that we've brushed we're gonna go ahead and move to our curing process so we already have our lid removed and again the cure is very important in 3d printing so let's take off our plate here Power this guy up. All right, good so far. Let's remove our plate here. And that's a mirror plate for our UV curing process on stage two. Nice and shiny there. Need to wipe that off. And we'll go ahead and prep our basket here and get ready and prep for the complete washing process. So let's grab our solution, put that in place, remove this nice lid that Creality gave us and I think that's so genius and uh, it has a really airtight seal there that keeps all your solution in. This is just prepping your wash bay. This is what you do, period, before you start your cure. So let's grab our basket and our John Wick 4. Let's drop him in. Just make sure he's in there nice and snug. I think this guy might float, but uh, we'll push him down in during the intermission just to make sure he's kind of floating but eventually he'll drop down okay let's adjust our settings and the first one is basically between wash and cure and then this second one here is our speed of the, the motor inside and this is our time and this is the start bada boom bada bang we are good I put it for 15 minutes so we're going to have a quick intermission while this is going and you can see our clock here and we'll come back washing UBQ. 
Mercury. Okay, this is my favorite part to watch. So we can see the clock counting down there. And what's happening is UV lights are bouncing all over this minifigure, causing it to uh, finish this, what you can call a hardening process. So let's remove our lid here. And there it is, as you can see, it's changed color and that's what we like to see. And let's check our cure and good detail here. The color looks good. And I made this one hollow. The next one I might make solid, but I wanted to try a hollow minifigure first. As you can see, our detail looks good there. I can see his pants. So let's paint this guy. I can't wait to get some paint on it and we'll take a break and come right back. All right, bada boom, bada bang. And here's our John Wick along with the rest of our creations we've made on the channel. Let's take a look at them. John Wick. What do you guys think? Do we nail it? And I'm not the best painter, but I'm getting better. And again, I'm so happy we're doing this one with our new camera. And there's John Wick in action. I think we did it. Looks good. Yes. I think it looks good. I think we nailed it. Yes. Okay. Well, there it is, our John Wick. And there you have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed us building our John Wick and had as much fun as I did with this character. And I love this John Wick 4, and I'm glad we're able to add him with the rest of our figurines. Well, that's all I got for you. Thanks so much again for supporting our channel. And we just want to say thank you for this journey. And it's going to be a long journey. Thank you for supporting us and sticking with us. And we're upgrading equipment and I hope you like this video with our new camera and we're going to keep getting better and putting out good content for you guys don't forget we still have our $500 subscribe giveaway hit that like be ready be a part of it hit subscribe and be ready for our $500 subscriber giveaway thanks so much guys and always remember Push past your limits with XJR.